1538 AD, year 8 of the reign of King Tabin Sweti. Over two decades ago, before I was even born, an old village shaman came to our little mountain kingdom of Tungwo. He claimed to speak with the Nats, the ancestral spirits worshipped by our people before the coming of Buddhism. The Nats had told the shaman that an ancient warrior prince would be reincarnated in our kingdom. This prince would rule as the Chakravati, the universal ruler embodying Buddhist virtue. Soon after, a son named Tabin Shveti was reborn to one of the king's wives. At the same time, a servant girl had herself just birthed a son and she was made the newborn prince's wet nurse. After all these years, I know the story of King Tabin Shweti's birth well. I am the son of his wet nurse. Though we came from very different origins, the Nats had joined the king and I. Though the Nats prophesied King Tabin Shweti's greatness, they blessed me as well. But not in the way my mother sees it. She does not believe that the king is the one the shaman spoke of. She says the Nats are not that simple. They are tricky spirits who mislead with their blessings. But I tell my mother that I am no warrior prince. The Nats have blessed me, though not as she believes. Because the king and I both suckled from my mother. He has treated me like kin and made me his loyal general. But with every blessing comes a curse. Our kingdom is under attack by the Shan, a warrior people of the far north. Our city's walls cannot stop them. So I have proposed to my king that we attack south, away from the northern threat. The kingdom of Hantawadi is a wealthy land and home of the Mon people. But it is ruled by a paranoid and cowardly king. As we march south, the Nats bring fear into the Mon King's heart. He flees his lands for the safety of his allies, just as a frightened water buffalo runs to his herd after smelling a tiger. The king and I are the Burmese tigers chasing after that buffalo. Stand alone against the Shan. Do not fight for glory. Fight for Burma, our history and our future.
Saloi, saloi tämä. Okay, okay. 
Okay.
Show that you know the
service in battle, my king bestowed a name of great honor upon me, Bayin Nang, which means king's elder brother. Though he is a king and I am but the son of a servant girl, he embraced me and declared a shared blood. I am no longer a simple servant. I am Bayin Nang. I am a prince.